Destiny has been around for years, spanning multiple platforms, campaigns, and expansions. Today, I want to go over what I consider to be the top 10 Destiny community memes, jokes, quotes, and moments in time that, to me, live on in infamy through the community at large. Turns out, many of my favorite Destiny moments involve my good friend Datto. How many f***ing times are you going to have that shit? Jesus f***. In Christ, Bungie! But at the end of the day, the point stands that these are my favorite Destiny memes and moments. If you have your own favorite memes that didn't make it to today's list, let me know down in the comment section and stick around to the end of today's video for a quick list of honorable mentions. But before we carry on, why don't we talk about your little John with the sponsor of today's video, Manscaped. Gentlemen, if you're looking for the perfect gift this Father's Day, look no further than Manscaped and their collection of products. Introducing the Beard Hedger Trimmer, a great gift for any dad who loves technology and fun at home gadgets. It features a 7200 RPM motor and titanium coated T-blade to cut through the thickest of hair in a single stroke. With a built-in rotary wheel, it features 20 different hair cutting lengths. No more cluttered drawers filled with extra guard attachments. And because it's waterproof and cordless, dad can take it into the shower or use it at the sink with virtually no messy cleanup. If dad's packing too much gruff in the snuff, avoid an awkward conversation and get him the Weed Whacker 2.0 nose and ear hair trimmer. And finally, the classic, the Lawn Mower 4.0 trimmer. It's got those ceramic blades with skin safe technology, which helps reduce nicks and cuts so dad can groom with more confidence and not worry about butchering his lawn, so to speak. Did I mention that the Lawnmower 4.0 and the Weed Whacker 2.0 are both included in the Performance Package 4.0? That also includes Crop Preserver, Crop Reviver, and comes with two free gifts, the Shed Travel Bag and a pair of Manscaped Boxer Briefs. Don't wait, get your Father's Day shopping done right now by going to manscaped.com slash falloutplays and get 20% off and free shipping. Again, that's 20% off and free international shipping at manscaped.com slash fallout plays. All right, back to the content. Number 10, two tokens in a blue. During a Bungie showcasing of the pretty widely disliked Curse of Osiris D2 expansion, former community manager Deej was live on the mic as the team finished up a public event. Trying to get the player base hyped up, there was a lot of talk from Bungie about this being, quote, the most rewarding public event. However, when the event finished, the Bungie employee on camera's rewards came in. Two tokens and a piece of blue armor. And as much as I will always love Deej, his commentary on the loot drop wasn't exactly what I would call enthusiastic. And there we have it. We have two chests so for good. a change. And uh, check out those sweet sweet moves. The moment immediately caused an avalanche of jokes on Reddit, Twitter, and the Bungie forums and became a fairly iconic catchphrase that would cement itself into the community lore for years to come. It's not uncommon, even today, that when we hear or see about any new rewarding in-game experience coming down the pipe, odds are fairly good that at least one reply will include the infamous phrase. Number 9, The Destiny Killer. Because Destiny's had some good success over the years, it's only natural that other game companies might try to imitate that success usually in the form of a rival game with a similar structure. Unfortunately, making a new and exciting looter shooter capable of competing with Destiny is much harder than it looks apparently. Several games have tried and failed miserably, and it's gotten to the point where any new looter game advertised as, quote, a Destiny killer is automatically doomed to fail. Noteworthy contenders for best Destiny killer include The Division, Outriders, and Anthem. Being a Destiny killer is now a fairly common meme video topic from popular content creators on YouTube as well. After so many Destiny killers have come and gone over the years, most players are in agreement that the only thing that will truly eventually kill Destiny, either the community or Bungie. Sometimes it really does seem like a race to see who will be first. Number eight, Datto's Paper. On June 6th, 2019, Bungie streamed a highly anticipated reveal of the next upcoming Destiny 2 expansion, Shadowkeep. For the most part, the vast majority of the D2 community really enjoys seeing these kinds of reveals. Being able to peek behind the elusive game dev curtain is kind of awesome, and it's always fun to get a closer inside look at how video games are made at the AAA level. During the Shadow Keep reveal, we were given an extra treat. Turns out community member and content creator Datto had been invited to Bungie headquarters to partake in the recording and ask Bungie some questions about the expansion. Pretty awesome, because many people, myself included, really love Datto and his content. Things were all relatively normal during the Q&A session, though, until Datto did this. Take note, if there's one thing you should never do while on camera for thousands of upon thousands of people watching at home, it's look directly at the camera and point to a blank piece of paper. This moment was immediately screen capped and turned into a blank meme template that has since run absolutely wild on social media. Thankfully, most uses of this format I've seen are fairly tame, but I and many other people in the community have gotten a ton of mileage out of this image and it'll always hold a special place in my dumb heart. 
Number 7. The Helmet Stayed On Armor and weapons in D2 have their own little pages of lore and flavor text to help bring a little extra spice to the game overall. In Forsaken, we received a piece of armor called Mark of the Great Hunt, which had an interesting bit of lore attached to it. In the text, a bored queen Mara uses the Wall of Wishes to summon Shax. Mara apparently did so because she wanted him to read William Shakespeare's play The Tempest to her. Shax destroys the book because apparently he's such a lovable dork he can recite the entire play by heart. The lore entry ends with, and he did. Mara sat and listened. They stayed for a long time. The helmet stayed on. This launched a ton of speculation from the Destiny lore community that Mara had basically used the wish wall to summon a booty call from Lord Shax, and during the supposed deed, quote, the helmet stayed on. As we would later learn in a different lore entry, though, they may not have done anything at all, as apparently Mara was more interested in hearing Shax tell stories about another Destiny character, Seer Ido. Mara was so down bad to hear about Seer Ido, she wanted Shax to take off his helmet just so she could look upon the eyes that had gazed so often onto her beloved. Damn. Even though Shax and Mara's Night of Passion may have only included passion about both Shakespeare and the beautiful Seer Ido, it still created a hilarious visual image that would be loved by the community for years to come. That even if the opportunity for romance ever popped up for the Titan manager of the Crucible, that helmet ain't going anywhere. The phrase is still thrown around often during any conversation where Destiny NPCs are discussed with potential romantic intent. Number 6. Goddamn Telesto It may be a fairly beaten to death meme at this point, but there ain't no way you can have a top 10 Destiny memes list that does not include Telesto. Veteran players are probably nodding in agreement, but just in case you randomly wandered into today's video with no clue of what the f I'm talking about, this is Telesto, a fusion rifle that's been in the game basically forever, which has also been responsible for multiple in-game glitches and or bugs. These days, most problems in D2 stem from the spaghetti code that holds the game together or the probably on fire servers. But in the early years of Destiny, if there was a problem with the game, you had maybe a 50-50 shot of correctly blaming it on Telesto. Again, I know that by now it's old and beaten to death, but it's really hard to look at the gun the same way after knowing how many times it's temporarily shut down the game. Number 5. Tanix Never Dies Tanix was originally introduced as a fallen enemy back in Destiny 1. Varix, a friendly fallen NPC, tracks down Tanix's plans and enlists the help of us, the Guardians, to kill him. If only we knew back then how many more times we'd end up fighting and, quote, killing Tanix. Tanix would reappear years later as Tanix Perfected, aka a new and improved version of Tanix who had been enhanced with SIVA upgrades. Even later still, we would fight a nightmare of Tanix while on a mission for Eris Morn, and then years later in the Destiny 2 raid Deepstone Crypt, we learned that yet again, our final foe was another form of Tanix, now complete with a floating heavy shank robot body as Tanix the Abomination. Sometimes I lay awake at night and wonder when we're all playing Destiny 3 in the year 2027, what new form of Tanix will fight in the new Day 1 raid. Number 4. Datto Doesn't Care It isn't uncommon for streamers and YouTubers to get tagged in odd rants from angry members of any given fanbase. In April of 2022, a random Twitter user tagged former Bungie community manager DMG voicing his displeasure at two things that had happened in-game at the time. The addition of the acute burn modifier and the nerfing of the then very popular armor mod Protective Light. If this had just been the tweet on its own, then honestly that would have been just fine as a standalone complaint to a game dev who actively works on the team involved in making Destiny 2. But this person decided to not only randomly tag Datto in this complaint, but also throw mud in his eye for seemingly no reason with the added hashtag Datto doesn't care. This prompted an understandably frustrated reply from Datto, who commented that as a guy who just plays games on YouTube for a living, he isn't anywhere near responsible for these negative changes to the game as he doesn't work for Bungie. This launched an instant outpouring of the hashtag Datto doesn't care and a lot of content creators ribbing Datto and jumping onto the meme bandwagon. Literally anything wrong with or annoying in D2? Hashtag Datto doesn't care. Did you trip walking to the kitchen this morning and stub your toe? Hashtag data doesn't care. Some of the replies that came out of this were pretty good and they still make me laugh to this day. Legend has it that even now to this very moment, Datto in fact still does not care. Number three, we've stepped into a war with the Cabal on Mars. One of the original missions released with Vanilla Destiny 1 was a strike in which the Guardians attempted to kill the commander of the Cabal forces, Valus to Ark. As you and your fire team loaded into the strike, Commander Zavala delivered the now infamous copy pasta. Whether we wanted it or not, 
We've stepped into a war with a cabal on Mars. So let's get to taking out their command, one by one. Valus to Arik. From what I can gather, he commands the siege dancers from an Imperial land tank outside of Rubicon. He's well protected. But with the right team, we can punch through those defenses, take this beast out, and break their grip on Freehold. As this strike was fairly common in Destiny 1, this dialogue was burned into the memory of many a player repeatedly. Even to this day, countless variations of the meme can be found across the gaming landscape, from t-shirts to tweets to random ass memes. It's a now iconic line of dialogue that the player base holds all the more dearly since the passing of actor Lance Reddick, aka the voice of Commander Zavala. Number 2, 2402. In what I promise will be the last Datto meme today, 2402 is a short but painful reminder of one of the most controversial moments in Destiny raid history. Every time Bungie releases a new raid in Destiny, there's a world's first race across the entire community to see which team will be the very first to complete the entire raid. Teams lucky enough to win are even recognized by Bungie in the form of winning an IRL raid championship belt. Teams who complete the raid in the first 24 hours also get a unique in-game emblem which cannot be earned again later. Due to the high level of competition, new raid day is always jam-packed with excitement and Twitch viewers on the edge of their seat, cheering for their favorite streamers to finish within the first 24 hours. During the Last Wish raid, the competition was especially brutal, as this was before Bungie had implemented the now widely popular contest mechanic, which allows far more players to compete at a fair level. Basically, when the Last Wish raid came out, your only shot at completing the raid at all on day one was if your entire team no life grinded the game day and night before raid day. Unlike the recent Root of Nightmares raid, which saw thousands and thousands of team beat the raid on day one, when Last Wish came out, only two teams were able to beat the raid in full on the first day. YouTuber and streamer Datto's team seemed like they were finally able to cross the finish line after a grueling 24-hour raid grind. As it turns out, Datto and co. had beaten Last Wish in 24 hours and two minutes, meaning they were just two minutes away from earning what is now arguably the rarest emblem in the game. This resulted in tons of fans and viewers reaching out to Bungie and starting an impromptu petition that Datto and his team should be granted mercy and should be allowed to unlock the emblem for only missing the window by two minutes. A huge argument erupted in the community about how Bungie couldn't do such a thing as it would be endorsing special treatment for streamers and community members. Datto himself commented that it was only fair that he and his team should not earn the emblem, not wanting any kind of special treatment. 2402 has become a simple yet painful reminder of how close one can get to glory only to fall painfully short. Thankfully, Datto has since leaned into and embraced the meme charmer that he is. Number one, must have Gallarhorn. In the second week ever of Destiny 1, Xur, an in-game vendor who has a randomly generated inventory and only appears on the weekend, popped into the game and sold this, Gallarhorn. At the time, brand new Destiny players argued over whether or not this weapon was worth a pickup from Xur, especially since the game was so new and we only had limited currency to spend on Xur. The proposed logic was, why waste this currency on an exotic power weapon? Most players would probably rather have an exotic primary weapon, which you would probably use much more frequently. As the community would soon learn though, Gallarhorn was good. Really, really busted good. A dominant force in PvE that would lay waste to enemies and deal massive damage with ease. The community waited and waited, but as mentioned, Xur's inventory was random and it looked like Gallarhorn was not coming back. Because of its extreme Extreme power, Destiny LFG sites began using the now infamous phrase, must have Gallarhorn. The phrase was so painfully overused and common, it has since taken off and is often used to mock situations where LFG players require impossibly strict loadouts or standards for their teams, even if whatever it is they're looking to complete really isn't even that difficult. An iconic golden statement that will probably long outlive the game itself, which I'm totally here for. Oh, and if you care, yeah, Zer did eventually bring back Gallarhorn and Reddit went a little wild that day, but it was an awesome moment in the community, which I always look back on very fondly. Do you have any favorite community memes or moments that didn't make today's list? Let me know what they are down in the comment section. As promised, here's a few honorable mentions that were recommended to me a lot that didn't make the final cut for one reason or another. No shade, only love. And if you know what these are, by the way, and want to explain to your fellow guardians, do so down in the comment section. I would love to read your write-ups of what some of these mean. If you enjoyed today's video, click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on stream.